Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Energy Interiors and Designing. This video is a learning video which explains you that how to design apartment layout. So in the design of apartment layout, what things we have to consider are, are very important and also what kind of different spaces and what, what kind of different functional spaces we require is again very important to discuss. But before moving towards the further details, let's discuss that what apartments are. So apartments can be defined as a group housing where it comprises of different sizes of housing units, for example, 3 BHK, 2 BHK, 1 BHK and also sometimes 4 BHK. Now when I state BHK, it means or, or, or I can say the BHK stands for bedroom, hall and kitchen. So what things we have to consider are the functional spaces, natural light and ventilation of course which is very important and another important thing is the building services. Now for example, for functional spaces we have to consider all the spaces which are arranged in a way so that we could get the proper circulation, workspace and also storage for the bedrooms and kitchen layers. So moving further, let's discuss the different layouts. So the first layout in the apartment design is the 3BHK. So when we design flats such as 2BHK or 3BHK, there are plenty of options available for the arrangement of rooms and spaces. But here I have come up with one option and that option is basically a unit which is of 110 square meters in area and that is of basically one single unit. So moving further with the design, this is a layout of 3BHK and here it shows the entrance as you can see in the layout which takes us to the living area and the dining area which are the common spaces. Also this unit has a common passage which takes us to the bedrooms. Therefore there are three bedrooms and two of them are being designed with the attached toilet and one of them is being designed with the balcony. All the three bedrooms are very well ventilated with the windows where we can get the natural light and ventilation and also all the three bedrooms are being furnished for the storage purposes. So this is the common dining area and this has a common set out which gives the illumination to the entire housing unit. This is the kitchen of the unit and this kitchen is designed in new shape. Also, this kitchen is being incorporated with the wall hung cabinets as you can see in the layout for the storage purposes in the kitchen. There is also a store in the unit but this store can also be used as a future room. So this is one of the options uh, that we can get from uh, 110 square meters of area. The arrangements of the spaces in the housing unit can be changed depending upon the design but this is the most functional and the symmetrical design that we can get. Another type of layout is 2BHK and in the design I have taken the example of 90 square meters. As you can see in the design, this is the main door which takes us to the common living room and the dining room. This is the common passage as you can see in the layout and this is basically 1.2 meters wide. This passage takes us to the master bedroom which has been designed with the balcony and also the toilet. Then the second bedroom which is uh, has a size of 3.4 meters by 3 meters and also both the bedrooms are being furnished and properly designed with the windows especially the glass windows for air circulation and ventilation. This is the kitchen in the unit which has been designed in the L shape and here uh, it has the common set out. It can be used as a common set out and it can also be used as the wash area. So therefore in the 90 square meters the spaces can also be arranged in a different manner. This I have taken the most functional and spaciously designed layout. So now when we design the apartments, it is very important to understand that how we can arrange these units in different shapes. This is the L shape and L shape is one of the example in which we can arrange the housing units as you can see here. This is the one unit, this is the second unit, 3, 4 and 5 and 6 units. 
So all the six units are being placed in L shape. The arrow shows you the entrance for each single unit. So in this type, the circulation spaces such as the staircase and the lift are going to be designed somewhere from in the between. This is the this is the another typology which shows you the four housing units are being placed on the plot size, and uh, the arrow shows you the entrance for each single unit. In this pattern also, the circulation spaces are going to be designed in the between. So, so this is the another example that I have taken from the resources, and you can see in the layout that how the seventeen units are being designed in L shape. This another example gives you the idea of the placement of apartment units in U shape. So this is a typical example of a square layout which shows you the placement or the arrangement of 4 PHK on one floor. Similarly, this is again the square layout which shows you the arrangement of 4 apartment units that is of 2 BHK. So it's important when we arrange units in the layout, all the rooms should get the natural light and the ventilation. For example, here in this layout, as you can see here, the three 2 BHK units could be placed symmetrically. Now this is one unit, second and third. As you can see here, these three units are being placed symmetrically. But whereas, as you can see in the layout, there is one apartment unit in which the design has to be changed. So it is important for us to get the maximum light and the ventilation, especially the natural light and ventilation, in all the major rooms such as the bedrooms, dining, drawing and the kitchen. So basically this gives you an idea that how the different sizes of housing units, whether it's 2 BHK or 3 BHK, they are arranged in the apartment layouts. Now, another thing to consider while designing the apartments are the building services and how the blocks can be arranged on the site. So, the site layout and the circulation pattern I'm going to discuss in my next video. Till then, please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you.